with your quarterback situation going into the opening game? Great. I'm very confident. I, I think uh, JT's had an excellent camp. Cardell has actually had his probably his best week as a Buckeye this week, so uh, <laughs> I feel great. I, I don't know that either one of them are the Big Ten Player of the Year, but uh, I, I would think there's uh, a lot of schools right now that would that would take our scenario over what they got. Is the tendency to not overload anybody in this first game, but especially the quarterback making his first start, or what? What's sort of the if there's a philosophy to that, what is it as far as you're concerned? Yeah, I think you got to be concerned, not concerned, but you, you have to be cognizant of the fact that, not that capacity-wise he can or can't handle uh, anything. It's the adrenaline, the first time. It's just the, the whole mindset of, of starting your first game and playing. I mean, he hasn't really played since the middle of his senior year in high yeah. school, and so... Uh, just to make sure that you, you keep things as simple as possible for him, but uh, you know we're we don't we don't do a whole lot on offense, despite maybe what some people think we, we may or may not do. We don't we don't ask the quarterback to, to be a, a rocket surgeon by by any stretch of the imagination, and so um, and never have, and I never will, and maybe that's why those guys have, have played well in our system, but. Um, but, yeah, we, we might actually even make a more conscious effort to keep it simple, but not a ton less than we already do.